Hey guys, welcome back to Peace Garage. Well, we're going to continue on with this 1962 Studebaker 289 and we want to get it buttoned up. So, let's start putting some covers on. I already have a valve covers on this engine only because these are the ones I'm going to be using to take it to the dyno and get it tested. I actually have a newer pair that I'm powder coating, so I'll have a fresh pair of valve covers to put on when I'm done. But I just have the valve covers on right now to uh, keep it clean and keep the oil from dumping out when I turn it over. Now I'm going to start with the center pan cover, my valley cover, lifter cover. And I'm going to put my gasket on here. I'm going to start with a, a bead. I'm just going to put a bead of right stuff on there, Permatex right stuff. Uh, it's great to buy in this caulk tube because it makes it very easy to squeeze and put a bead around the entire cir uh, circumference of this part. And that uh, makes it nice and neat. So I'll put that on and I'll put the gasket on. And with a nice even coat all the way around, I can sit my gasket in place. And make sure it's even all the way around. So it's not going to squish out. And now I'm going to put one more bead around the inside corner of that and we'll flip it over. Alright, now I can flip this over and gently set it in place. The big hole goes towards the back for the uh, PCV tube kind of thing. Now I'm just going to set this here. I put some black paint on there because I'm going to paint this engine black and I wanted black paint underneath the bolts. So that's why that paint is there. Now, the bolts that go in here um, got copper washers on and these come in the kit. These little copper washers and when you look at them uh, they're kind of tapered. So the flat part of the copper washer goes towards the head of the bolt. And since there's like a big gap between the top and the bottom there, you got to try and the trick to try and find the. There we go. Threaded hole in there. Same thing with the middle one. Now, I'm going to be painting this engine after it's tested on the dyno. So I'm not super concerned about the way it looks right now, which is why when I put this the tube on the back for the <clears throat> for the PCV system, like the PCV, there's this little there's a, a, a cork gasket that goes underneath the tube, and then the long bolt goes through there, just like the other ones. And now I can torque these down. Um, you don't have to torque them down really hard because you're not trying to, you don't want to bend this cover. You just want to get it to seal. So with the valve covers on, valley pan on, got some tape over the uh, oil. This is where the oil filter is going to go, but the oil breather. I got some tape over the distributor hole, and I got everything blocked off. So when I turn the engine over, none of the oil that's in there is going to leak out. So now I can flip her over. Now I can put my, my cam cover oil seal in. And cam cover front seals are all about alignment to the crank. Okay? Now, the, the seal that goes in there is a felt seal, and I have it sitting off to the side here. It has, I had soaked oil in it to get it to pre-expand. And then this ring goes on top of, the, of that seal, and this lip here faces, faces up. So, I already have a bead of uh, my right stuff around the outside and I have some on the inside of the string because I want to seal the outside of the string so oil doesn't get in through the outside. I'm going to take my seal, felt seal, I'm just going to sit it in the middle there. And as I put this ring on here and I line up the holes, I don't want to force that seal one direction or another. I want it to sit right in the middle, just like that. Now. I have the the small self-tapping metal screws here and I'll make sure that that stays in the center and I'll just get one started like that. Let's get them all four in place and I can slowly torque that down and when I get done I'll show you the squish that comes from around the outside. Now after all the screws are tightened you can see the squeeze out all the way around. That ensures that oil is not going to get behind the seal 
or behind this metal plate work its way through the seal and leak out the front cover. So I'm trying to seal this plate and the felt seal is centered nice and even inside of that metal, metal plate right there so I'm sure that my seal will sit flat. Now I can wipe up, I'll clean this up all on the outside to make sure it's clean. Now putting on the timing chain cover is more than just putting on the timing chain cover or the timing gear cover or the front cover. It actually is going to start all the way back here in the back by the rear main seal. Now if you recall when I put the main rear main on I got this little tang in here I got to cut off. I got to cut that off. That's number one. Then after I cut that, put the knife down, I have to take this small cork gasket that has to go in there to fill in this cavity. Then the oil pan gasket has got to sit. I got to trim that and get it to fit in that groove. I got to line up the holes and I'm going to put some high tech on there to tack this into place. Then this is going to come all the way around the front. I'll tack it on and make sure the holes are already lined up. Lined up all the way around. And then you got this, this half moon part here. And this goes on top of the gasket. So we got the oil pan gasket. Then this, this half moon piece goes on top of all of that. And that all has to be held, kept in alignment while put this down here while I get the timing chain cover ready to put on or the front cover. The front cover's got to get put on which lines up all of these things up on the front like that so that it'll line up the whole thing and the oil pan gasket all the way around and then to make sure that this whole assembly is centered around the crankshaft you have to make sure you have your pulley ready to go and drive your pulley on into the front cover to make sure it's all centered before you bolt it all down. So putting this together is not just one thing, then another, and then another. Kind of like you can do it all at once. Planning it out is important. So plan that out and work forward and work slow um, and end up with aligning your front cover to the front pulley or the front uh, cast part of the, this is the, uh, remember that oil, got the oil groove in there to push the oil back on? So this is gonna be pressed in to the front cover and then the front cover, everything can be bolted up. Now I have my gasket on and I have all my oil pan screws in all the way around just to hold the gasket in place so it doesn't move away from the holes. Um, now I have, I'm going to put this half moon piece on or this, or this half piece and you can see rather than have bolts in here where they usually have bolts these are studs uh, and this, these studs are put in here because these happen, uh, uh, these sometimes strip out. So if you have a bolt in there, those, those might strip out. So you can take those out and put studs in there instead. And it makes it a lot easier for assembly. Because now I'm going to put this on here. I have some of my, my right stuff uh, on my oil pan gasket here. And I'm just going to sit this in place. I'm going to sit this in place right here like this. Kind of push it down. And mush that stuff out a little bit. Kind of get it centered. Now... You can hold that. There's a couple ways to hold that in place. Um, and if you're using bolts, you can make a plate like this. And that would go here. Just kind of hold everything in place while you're putting it together. But it makes it a little sloppy to do that. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this where it needs to go. Make sure it's flush with the front cover. And you could um, take the same plate and make sure that you're you're all the way up flush up to the front with this make sure it's flush so now what I can do is I can go around this with my sealer and get ready to put my cam cover on alright now all in one continuous shot I have my cam cover ready I have some high tech on my gasket and oil on my seal and I'm going to just put this on here and hang it on these studs. And that's why those studs are handy to have because it's an easy way to get the cam cover kind of into place. And I'll just put a nut and lock washer on each side just to hold it in place. Now the next task is to get my my uh, uh, my hub. Now I got to put my hub in there, and I have it bolted to the entire 
a pulley assembly and I took out the rubber. There's rubber that goes between there for the vibration dampener and also make sure you have all the bolts in because you got to put the hub on and once the hub's on you won't be able to you won't be able to put these bolts in from the back. So have all your bolts in. I'm going to put a little oil on the inside of the hub around the outside of the crank just to make it easy. I'm going to set my hub in place. Line up with the keyway. Now I can simply take my bolt, take my bolt, put it in the middle and use that to drive the hub onto the uh, onto the crank, guiding it into the into the cam cover. Okay. Hub is all the way on. Now, with the hub all the way on, I can take off this vibration damper and pulley, and I can go all the way around and put my bolts in my cam cover, front cover. Okay, the cam cover is completely tightened, and I used, again, use the hub to center the cam cover on the engine so that it won't leak. And these uh, studs in here instead of bolts helped out a little bit, makes it easier. And it's nice and sealed between the half moon, the block, the gasket for the oil pan, and around the front. Now, before I put the oil pan on, I got the opportunity here to go behind the cam cover and put some oil on the gear, make sure it gets on the thrust uh, plate for the crank and around the cam, so that'll get all covered and uh, I can do that but before I do I, I'm gonna have to stop here because I got a lot of work to do on this oil pan now this is very typical of when you use a cork gasket when you use so I'm using a paper gasket on these when you use a cork gasket and you get a leak the the idea is okay I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna tighten it down I'm gonna tighten it down well you're tightening it tightening it down but you're also bending the oil pan and if I go on the side here and you look you can see that these this part of the oil pan is all bent all the way down. This is all crooked from someone cranking these bolts real hard and denting all of those bolts and they're all dimpled in. So this, the entire oil pan surface is not flat. So I'm going to have to hand hammer this whole thing and get it nice and straight before I can put the oil pan on and also uh, scrub it to get all the rust off because there's layers upon layers of undercoating and other stuff on there. So I gotta clean up the oil pan. I gotta fix that before I put that on so I can start the next video with putting the oil pan on. Okay, we're always getting closer and closer and closer. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do. I think next what we'll do is we'll rebuild our oil pump and install the oil pump. That way we can put our oil pan on. It'd be stupid to put the oil pan without rebuilding the oil pump and getting the oil pump in place. Uh, and then make one last rotational check of the engine, make sure everything's all right and everything looks fine before I button up on the bottom end. I'm going to flip it over and got a lot of stuff to do. Fuel pump, all the other stuff on the top. So uh, we'll do that when we come back, get the front end bolted up and get it ready to roll. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.